guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i have plenty of cleaning motivation for you guys i am cleaning my house after not cleaning my home for at least five days i cleaned a ton the week before but then my brother came to visit and i made sure my videos was nice and uploaded on youtube so i did not have to worry about that so i went a few days without cleaning my house and you know what guys it actually felt so good i didn't have to worry about filming or anything like that it was like a mini vacation for myself which i truly needed that right here i was filling up the washing machine my washing machine has a 75 ounce load that just releases soap whenever i add a load of laundry in there so i don't have to actually add la laundry soap every single time came upstairs to see what my kids are doing because sometimes in the morning they know they got to get themselves ready so they can do their schoolwork destiny had already made her bed but i was over here helping her uh fold the blankets and stuff like that and then pick up this sleeping bag that she left on the floor her brothers and her were camping out the uh last weekend they were doing like this little sleepover in her room and the sleeping bag was still on the floor so i went ahead and put that away and then destiny went and cleaned her room while i came into the bathroom and cleaned their bathroom out so whenever i clean their bathroom or any of our bathrooms i always use the chlorox cleanup spray especially on the toilet because my boys y'all y'all already know especially if you have boys that let's just say the aim is not that great um, I hope it gets better when they get older, but right now, um, bleach is what we need. But luckily, the Clorox has the cleanup spray in a blue bottle, and that one doesn't have the bleach smell. So if you can't stand the smell of bleach, you can actually go ahead and get that one. It does the exact same thing, just without the smell. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me. Peace. Like you have no options. I ain't take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you, yeah. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. You lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's you like a ride but take your stuff back baby it's you And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never well, A day or two before fall actually hit It got kind of chilly here in Georgia It was like in the 60s and 70s And then in the morning be like in the 50s Now that's cold for us So it felt just like fall but as soon as that cold weather changed, y'all, my sinuses started acting up. My throat was on fire. Like right now, my throat hurts so bad. It, does anybody else suffer from fall allergies? I thought it was just a spring thing, but right now I am suffering. I've been taking me medicine every day, especially allergy medicine. But you guys, I'm just so glad that it got cooler. But like a day or two after fall hit, it got warm again. So I'm praying for some cooler weather soon. was for the time then i would change the honey so i 
never saw your face. now downstairs and my kitchen is actually not too bad because every single night that I, right before i go to sleep either my husband or i most of the time it's me because my husband works nights we make sure to clean the kitchen then my husband is normally the one that keeps cleans the kitchen um on the weekends but we always wake up to a clean kitchen but right here i am cleaning up after the kids ate breakfast so i didn't have a sink full of dishes just a little bit but I wanted to vacuum the floor because I saw I saw a bunch of crumbs everywhere just from breakfast alone, you guys. And then I wanted to go ahead and use the quick mop to clean the floor, floor as well. I also have to clean out my fridge because uh, I have to pick up some groceries from Walmart. And every single time I go grocery shopping, I make sure to clean out my fridge. Not a deep clean, but just like a wipe down before I put new groceries in there. It helps it. It helps so it don't get doesn't get too bad and I don't have to constantly do a deep clean because that's I do not like doing a deep clean of the fridge, you guys. I really don't. And right here I'm cleaning the kids' refrigerator. It's pretty much their refrigerator. It's the only stainless steel here in my kitchen and it's always full of fingerprints. It just reminds me why I don't have stainless steel because even though I have white stuff in my kitchen, I feel like the stainless steel is a lot more maintenance. If you guys are enjoying this video so far don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and make sure you have the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any one of my videos because it just helps support my channel you guys
who else is ready for the holiday season? I am, you guys. I am such a good mood in, during the holiday season. Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday. I already have plans in my head. I can't wait to decorate for Christmas. I know we just decorate for fall, y'all, but I can help myself. I love Christmas so much, so I'm looking forward to that. So comment down below, are you just like me? to say I have to find another way to show you what's on my mind oh what's on my mind we can slip out the back door I just want to hold you like before oh girl you're really one of a kind one of a kind it's a tricky situation cause we don't know what to do but I feel your every motion as I'm calling So while I'm vacuuming, Destiny decided that she's on her second breakfast or whatever. You guys, my kids eat so much. Are your kids like that too? Like my kids, they eat breakfast an hour or two later. They're coming for snacks and then they're looking for lunch. And then there's another snack and then there's dinner and then there's a snack after dinner. They're always hungry. I am pretty much making sure that I get all of my cleaning done because this weekend I just want to dedicate it to adding more stuff to my Etsy shop. I just want to make a bunch of wreaths and just add it on there but I have to actually dedicate some time to do that because just for one wreath alone takes me quite a few hours so for me to be able to do that I wanted to get my video up and make sure that's out of the way and then when I focus on Etsy I focus on Etsy. I get all questions I get asked all of the time how do I do it all? with kids being at home, my Etsy shop, my YouTube channels. Um, I'm trying to take it one day at a time and one like to do thing at a time, if that makes sense. I When I'm doing something, that's the only thing I am focusing on. So if I'm doing virtual learning on the, with the kids, that's the only thing I'm focused on. I'm not focused on anything else besides that. When I'm filming for YouTube, I am filming for YouTube and that's it. And then when I'm, when I'm doing anything for my Etsy shop and creating new stuff to add on there, I, that's the only thing I'm doing that whole weekend. I'm not filming. I'm not doing a bunch of other stuff. I'm just focused on that. So when I'm crafting, I, I'm not going to lie. I do take out and everything because I be so into it. They kind of lose track of time.
I wanted to mention that if you are a returning subscribers, you guys are awesome. Every time, especially if you leave me a comment and you're always leaving me comments, I always recognize your name and I recognize every single time you guys show up for every single one of my videos. Like I know what you guys like. There's some of you that like my laundry motivation part of the videos while others are really into me cleaning out my kitchen sink and others like me mopping. It's just, I know who likes what. And I love it when you guys leave me comments because when I see your name pop up on my phone, I know who you are already. I consider you guys my friends. Now I am in my bedroom and right now I'm getting ready to make my bed. I pretty much make my bed almost every single day. Sometimes on the weekend I might let it go, but especially on the weekdays I make sure to, that my bed is made. Desi does her virtual learning in my room. So when she's in her virtual class, you definitely see my bed in the background. So I make sure my bed is made and looks nice just in case. I'm pretty sure some people don't look for that, but it don't, doesn't matter. It matters to me. And she was actually doing some schoolwork while I was filming this video, but she was not in a live class, so I was not interrupting anything. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. I wanted to wipe down my furniture. It was really dusty, you guys. When she's doing her schoolwork in my room, the only thing I could do in there is just make the bed and then she start her schoolwork. I don't really have time to wipe down my furniture or anything because she is in her class. I don't want to do anything to interrupt her. So I, it's been a while since I actually wiped down my furniture.
dancing with the shadows on the bedroom wall silhouettes of memories that i can't recall trying to be ready for the car trying not to fall ready for the landfall rolling way too slow to win this human race gotta travel light through this desirable maze the miles i leave in traces on my face signs of falling grace filling up the empty space but heaven knows i'm getting so much better every day yeah baby can't you see it's easy i should call this area Destiny's office because she uses it way more than I do. Even though I do use it, especially when I'm editing and uploading videos and adding stuff to my Etsy shop, I do use it. It's just my daughter uses this area a lot more than I do. guys see me like typing on the phone it's because one of uh, my son's teacher my fifth grader he let's just say she he said she said that he had some missing assignments so I asked him about it why wasn't he doing his work well it turns out he did do his work it's just that he didn't press submit so it showed that he did not finish his work so let's let's just say he had to start all over again so he was not happy good things about cleaning the bathroom which 
it's not many good things about cleaning the bathroom. Let's be honest. Is I really don't like cleaning the bathroom, but I do stay on top of the bathroom, so I'm constantly cleaning the bathroom. So after I brush my teeth, wash my face, I'm always wiping down the counters and stuff. So it's not that bad. I make sure it doesn't get too bad, so like that, I don't have to do a super deep clean because I, y'all, I don't like cleaning the bathroom. But every day, pretty much, I wipe down my toilet and stuff, so like that, it doesn't get too bad. Now I'm putting the bathroom mats in the washing machine. I told my son to bring me the, his bathroom mats downstairs so I could wash them all together. And this is the first time me using the Borax. It says it's a laundry booster, just like, I guess, OxyClean. It was my first time using it. My husband used it for something else to clean something he needed. And there was some left over, so I decided to go ahead and try it. You may wanted to wipe down my laundry room because this room gets so dusty it's right there next to the garage and we're constantly coming in and out of through the garage we actually barely come in through the front door we're always coming through the garage so i wanted to make sure i wipe down the washer and dryer and vacuum and mop in here
will be all guys don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos guys bye